guys and welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome my name is Denitris and if you are a returning subscriber as always girl thank you so much for tuning in to another video so today we are doing something a little bit different we're talking about manifesting the life that you want to live becoming that girl 2024 okay so today we're gonna be discussing how to become that girl in 2024 um, whatever that means to you so if you want tips on how to become that girl in 2024 then just keep on watching um, I have all of my little key points here in my phone so yeah I'm so excited to be filming this video today it's the beginning of 2024 January is almost over and girl you're not the only one that don't have it together yet okay you're not the only one I feel like January is almost over and I'm still not on track but it's okay we're gonna get there that's the main reason why I'm filming this video today because we gotta get on our zoom okay like we're becoming that girl in 2024. So guys, first things first, I feel like becoming that girl is manifesting the life that you want for yourself. So I really just want you to sit back and just think about what life you want to live and really like step into that. Manifesting the life that you want, whatever that looks like for you. Um, if that's you, you know, waking up and having a 5 a.m. morning routine every single morning or um, going to church every Sunday or going to the gym, five, six times a week. If that's having a family someday, getting married, having kids, whatever your dream life is, I just want you to really envision that. And also really think about the things that you have to do in order to get there. So I really think that a huge part of becoming that girl in 2024 is just being intentional with everything that you do. So just being intentional about any and everything that you do, really just reflecting on like what's important to you. Once you figure that out that gives you something to work towards right so that's super super important so those were just a couple of like key points I'm really gonna just dive into some of the things that I've been doing and I just want to share these tips with you all every single thing that I'm gonna go over today I'm not already implementing um, but for the most part I would love to um, I didn't list everything but just some of the little key things that came to my mind that I was like yeah I think this is gonna be um, pretty important Let's go ahead and get right into it. Becoming that girl starts with self-care. You have to take care of yourself. I know you guys have heard this time and time again, but it is so true. You cannot pour into anyone else's cup until yours is full. So really just focus on like, what can I do to fill my cup? Um, is that coming up with a routine? Is that going to yoga class? Is that going for a walk with your kids? If you want to have a specific skincare routine, um, just having a work-life balance, uh, at home spot, day or a workout or whatever makes you feel good y'all please take the time out and sit maybe like I don't know 30 20 to 30 minutes even sit that time aside stop scrolling through Instagram YouTube TikTok y'all know TikTok get y'all in a chokehold stop scrolling through there take that time to pour into yourself you also have to be the best version of yourself in order to be that girl you can't be that girl but you walking around you know sad you're going about day-to-day -day life in a funk or you're not 100 confident in yourself so again it starts with developing yourself self-care pouring into yourself like being the healthiest that you've ever been is super super important and when i say healthy i mean like inside and out and what i mean by being healthy from the inside out okay so for example you guys know if you've watched my channel you know that i've been on this health roller coaster forever so one of my desires of becoming like that girl, in order for me to become that girl in my eyes, I want to drop a couple pounds because honestly, that's gonna make me feel more confident um, in my clothing. That's gonna make me feel um, just better overall, you know, just have to have more energy to uh, be able to attend more workouts and really be able to focus, have that mental clarity from eating right and exercise and all of this stuff. So again, that is one of like my personal things that I would want to do to 
glow up or to become that girl is to get my fitness and nutrition together. That may not be the case for everybody. Also having healthy relationships, healthy friendships. You know, you are, you know, who you attract and who you hang around and all these things. So just being conscious of that. Another key thing in becoming that girl is just kind of making yourself a little bit uncomfortable to reach your goals. I just feel like you feel so much more accomplished and just so much more motivated um, when it comes to like work or anything that you're doing in life, anything that you're working towards. Um, I feel like Becoming that girl is all about having the confidence and knowing that, you know, I did that. I put in that work. When I say make yourself uncomfortable, I mean like just stepping out, taking that leap of faith, doing things that you never thought you would do, challenging yourself, just, you know, taking chances. Because I don't know about y'all, but for me, um, when I do things like, for example, filming this video, I don't do a whole lot of sit down videos, especially like chit chat type of videos. This is new to me. I'm very nervous right now, but it is what it is. I'm doing it. I'm, you know, taking that step. I'm taking that chance and I'm making myself uncomfortable and just working towards things that um, I want to get better at, I guess I would say. So by me doing this video, I get to look back at this and say, hey, I was uncomfortable, but I did it. So I feel like that's, that's a huge thing. Also, um, having confidence in yourself no matter what. This is number one, having the confidence. Because if you don't have confidence in yourself, baby it's it's really hard it's really really hard to have a, i'm that it girl or that girl mindset when you don't even have the confidence in yourself as a person so it's like what can you change to gain that confidence for me it's like speaking bad about yourself saying like oh my skin looks horrible my hair looks bad i feel fat today um i'm being lazy like just not speaking those things out loud and really just honing in on what you want to be in like the higher better version of yourself so also for my content creators y'all like just having that confidence to reach out to brands even though you may be a smaller youtuber or a tiktoker or you may be smaller on instagram girl have that confidence reach out to that brand i've had to do it a couple times yeah you may get denied but you had the confidence right um you you took that leap also don't feel like you're ever too small that you won't get noticed because i will say that i am a true testament of you will still get noticed by brands even being a smaller youtuber influencer whatever they see you girl so don't lose confidence in yourself you always want to have a mindset of you know i can do this so yeah, that really helped me a lot. The list just goes on and on about confidence. Confidence is key, y'all. Also, another thing for me, I don't know if it's because like the older I get, I feel like I don't want to wear so much makeup. So I decided to come up with like an everyday makeup routine. For my girlies who like to wear makeup, come up with an everyday makeup routine. Something that's your go-to, your go-to product, something that's super easy, um, something that you're not sitting in front of a mirror doing for, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. Just something quick like your go-to look and I guarantee you it'll be like your signature look and that is also another um, big thing in becoming that girl because it's like okay like I'm working towards the woman that I want to be I'm not just you know going to this meeting and just looking any old kind of way or going to work looking any old kind of way or even going to the grocery store for all my makeup girlies again find your signature look Find your signature look. The girls who don't like to wear makeup, I would say create a skincare routine that is like your go-to routine, your favorite product, something that you can use every day. Just creating something that makes you look more put together, um, I feel like is really important. So speaking of your appearance, like your makeup or your everyday skincare routine, let's get into just like your overall appearance, the hair, the clothes, everything, right? So if you're trying to become that girl, you don't wanna walk around feeling super bummy every single day. I've gotten to the point now where even if I'm just like lounging around the house, I wanna have on a cute set or, um, you know, a nice cozy, comfy, cute pair of pajamas or a nice little short set or, you know, just something comfortable, but still put together because in my mind, that just makes me feel more put together, it really does. I really feel like that girl when I'm on the couch in my cute little pajama set with my glass of wine, watching Real Housewives 
okay? Scrolling on YouTube, like, you can't tell me nothing. So it's just things like that that helps you to just feel better and to be more confident in yourself and to just know that you really are that girl. You put an effort towards being that girl, a better version of yourself. Again, whatever your definition of that girl is you're working towards that, right? Also, going to the gym, I used to have a bad habit of just wearing like a, a t-shirt and I don't know, just some baggy shorts or something. And it's like now a cute workout set is where it's at for me because again, when you look good, you feel good. For me, when I'm in the gym, I look good. I perform better, I really do. I wanna get the extra rep in. I wanna do more sets because I look good. So, and I'm not looking good for nobody else. I'm looking good for me. So that's really, really key in my eyes is to just feel good no matter what you're doing. So yeah, just being more put together. And also when you're out in the streets, y'all, when you're shopping, when you're at the grocery store, when you go to the movies, whatever, there is always gonna be somebody out there that you bump into that you know. And you don't want to be caught slipping, okay? With holes in your shirt, your hair in a bonnet. Maybe you, maybe you do. But for me, I don't. I want to be more put together, more presentable. Um, and then in return, that's going to make me feel better. I think that one of the last tips for me is just putting more effort into things that I really care about. Um, whatever my interests are, for example, YouTube, hitting my goals, whether that's hitting a financial goal, a personal goal, a work goal, um, just working towards what I want. All right, guys, so one of the last things that I have on my list is show up for yourself. You have to show up for yourself, you guys, whether that's getting to that workout or just getting out of bed to film or edit, um, I know, for example, I'm trying to uh, build a community here on YouTube, build a YouTube family, um, and just grow not only on YouTube, but in other areas of my life. I don't know about y'all, but as a content creator, when you get up, when you film that video, when you edit and you upload that video, baby, you feel like that girl. You feel accomplished for the day, okay? Again, that's one way that I can show up for myself is by filming, editing, and uploading. Also, cleaning your living space in order to be more productive. I don't know about y'all, but if my space is dirty, not organized, not clean, I feel even more lazy and even more like I ain't doing nothing. Like just couch potato for the day. Everybody's been there. When your space is just nice, tidy, clean, organized, well put together, it's so much easier to become more productive. Especially if you are someone like myself who works a full-time job and does YouTube and social media. Um, that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. I can use that time from cleaning up every day to pour into myself to become the best version of myself so that I can become that girl okay i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat how to become that girl in 2024 or tips on how to become that girl in 2024 these are just some of the things that i have been implementing in my own life if you guys like these type of like sit down chit chat type of videos comment down below and let me know as well this is not my strong area um like sitting down and actually like talking to the camera i know it sounds crazy but i feel like i never have like chit chat type of videos so this is kind of out of the norm for me but whatever let's all become that girl 2024 let's hit these goals let's build this confidence let's just do it up okay and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would love to have you here as a part of my youtube family and i will see you guys in the next video bye